Hi, I'm Barry Stokes with Let's Fish TV, and I absolutely love to fish for and catch striped bass in fresh water. So I'm here today to give you a little bit of an entry-level introduction into striper fishing in fresh water near you. Now, a couple of key things. Striped bass are transplants. They're originally a saltwater species that's been raised in a hatchery and introduced into fresh water as little fingerlings mostly in the southern half of the country, but you can find freshwater stripers really scattered throughout the entire country. Now, in my career, I've been blessed enough to be able to catch some really giant stripers. They get great big. I caught one over 50 pounds at Elephant Butte Lake in New Mexico, and I caught one over 45 pounds at Beaver Lake in Arkansas. Now, they're fun to catch whether they're two pounds or all the way up to the 40s or the 50s, but here are some basics that you'll need to catch them. First of all, the tackle. You're going to need a heavy action bait cast or spinning rod. I start at seven foot, six inches long, medium heavy, and go all the way to eight foot heavy action. Those are the rods you need. The reels you need will be a bait cast or a spinning reel that will hold a lot of line. This particular one is a loose super duty reel. It's got a real deep spool. You want to be able to spool at least a couple of hundred yards of line on that reel because these stripers can make real long runs and strip a lot off in a big hurry. You'll want to make sure your drag is set correctly so that you can pull that line off the spool so that that fish won't break you off. Now, as far as the baits are concerned, as far as artificials, I like to use swim baits and spoons are my two primary go-to lures. Fairly big size, five or six inches long in a swim bait and a four or five inch long striper sized spoon. Now you can also use live bait like live perch or bluegill or gizzard or thread fin shad will work just fine as well. As far as locating these fish, you'll need to have a good fish finder. Needs to have down scan, good side scan, and even forward facing sonar will help locate these fish. Why? Because they're nomadic fish, they roam all over the water column. You can catch them anywhere from two feet deep to over a hundred feet deep. They'll be chasing the bait fish. So you need to be able to look on your sonar and find schools of bait fish, whether it's shad or herring or whatever the fish feed on in the region where you live. Now in forward facing sonar, you can actually find those fish and watch them come and eat your lure. I'll show you a couple of quick shots of what that even looks like, but it's even more fun when you can see the fish coming and watch that fish attack your lure. Once again, make sure your drag is set correctly so they don't break you off. They are a ton of fun to catch. We've got lots of videos out there that you can learn more about catching freshwater striped bass in a reservoir or a river system near you.